It's the opening round of the NFL playoffs, and EA Sports continues its coverage of Super Wild Card Weekend. It's the Baltimore Ravens and the Cincinnati Bengals on Sunday night primetime. EA Sports coverage of the NFL playoffs brings us to a very loud and a very sold-out Paycor Stadium here in Cincinnati. Coming up, it's the final game of Wild Card Weekend, and we've got a good AFC matchup in store between the Baltimore Ravens and the Cincinnati Bengals. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the postseason on EA Sports. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, And, Charles, that's really all I need to say to get you fired up. It's the postseason on EA Sports. And no one's more fired up than the guys who are going to be playing in this game. This is what they fought for all year long. Go back to the OTAs, the mini camps, training camp, throughout the season to get to the playoffs. The intensity level will be off the charts. Trophy begins as we're underway in this AFC wildcard game. Takes it at the 7. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Here comes the Ravens on offense and the man in charge from Louisville, the former MVP, Lamar Jackson. They'll start on the ground with Dobbins. Dobbins hit and he fumbles. And the Bengals grab it. And his crew will take over with a football at the 45-yard line. To put it mildly, that is not the way anyone wants to start off a game. You fumble on your first offensive snap. But now what you're worried about is, does that linger throughout the game for your guys on offense? And how's the defense going to handle it? Because no one expects to run out on the field on the first play and have to all of a sudden start to play themselves. I give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Burrow throw. Open man is Chase complete. Touchdown! Jamar Chase, 32 yards. And the Bengals will strike first here in this wild card matchup. Things could just not have started any better for them. They get the turnover, the football right away, able to capitalize on offense for six. And we're talking about setting a tone in any game, right? The first points of a ball game? How about during the playoffs? Vitally important, and they've done that in this one. Extra point through the snowflakes, up and good. And it's now a 7 nothing game. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. From the six. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And he's going to be out of bounds across the 50. Great return. Well, you gave up the first touchdown of the game, but how about the response? Big time return. Now it's their chance to try and put points on the board. Edwards now on first and 10. Now they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. It's a pickup of 11 and a Baltimore first down. Jackson with a handoff to Dobbins on the option. And he'll get it inside the 35. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but from both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the ball gets tough in here. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Now it's Jackson. That's caught. It's Demarcus Robinson. And he's got another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Bengals' 20-yard line. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. Now Jackson on first down. Flush to his right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. On 
on second down, a run with Dobbins. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Seventh play in the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Here's Jackson to throw. Throw right side is complete to Andrews, his tight end. And the Ravens are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They'll try to run it in, going option right. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. Again, Jackson will keep it. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Now Jackson. And they're going to get it. They bring it down to sack back at the 16-yard line. There for the sack, B.J. Hill. Tucker's kick is good, and that'll do it for the first quarter of play. After 1-7-3, the score on EA Sports. Raven football here as we begin quarter number two. Here's Tucker now out to kick this one away. From the six. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. Cincinnati coming back onto the field here for their second drive. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I've warned against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Open receiver, that's Hayden Hurst, the tight end. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Here we go, here we go. Inside handoff to Mixon. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield stripe. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Once again, they run with Mixon. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Here's Burrow. Got a man. It's Chase. He completes it. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. His second catch of this wild card game, and it goes for a first down. From the gun, again to Mixon. Down to about the 32. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he's trying to dart through. No push for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard game. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 16 yards to the 16 and a first down. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. They're looking for Higgins, but it is intercepted. It's Chuck Clark picking it off. And the Ravens are going to take over at their own 11-yard line. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 11. The drive will start with an option going left. And he's got a first down as he's going to be taken down. But a very nice pick up there just in front of the two-minute warning. Go. 
Jackson on first down. Over the middle complete. That's Wallace. He'll be hit down at the 33. Five yards on the play. To throw again on second down. Jackson caught out left side by Robinson. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by Mike Hilton. And the Bengals are going to take possession of the football. So that changes things. You get the interception. And then to boot, a good return tacked on. And really it was down to him versus the quarterback on the return. And that's one you would think the defender would win. But a nice job there of seeing the play all the way to the end and making the tackle by the QB. Mixon with a first down carry. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Looking to pass. This goes out wide for Mixon. And the Bengals are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. Now a timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Finding Mixon here again on back-to-back -back plays. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. On second and goal, Burrow. That's to Chase. He's got it. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Jamar Chase with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bengals will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Extra point by McPherson. Up and good. And that pushes the lead up to 11. To the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Ravens going to get one more drive here in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked off by Mike Hilton. And the Bengals are going to take possession of the football. An unfortunate sequence there. Trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception. And their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it. And that's something that could come back and haunt. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked by Daryl Warland. And the Ravens are going to take over at their own 13-yard line. 15 seconds, all that remains for this first half as they come up first and 10. They'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. So we're at halftime of this AFC Wild. A look around the NFL. We'll have to wait for postgame because we are moving right through halftime and on to the third quarter. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. Both teams try to avoid being one and done in these playoffs as we start the second half of this AFC wild card game. And the Bengal offense ready to go here to start the third quarter. And they're in the position they expected to be in. They've got the lead, home crowd behind them, and they're looking toward making that next step in these playoffs. And I think a key for them is to put together some good, long, extended drives. Work to run in a little more with that big offensive line. I'm not saying get away from throwing the football. That's still working. But they run it more effectively. They make it even bigger plays in the passing game. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted but it winds up falling incomplete. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. I think it's safe to say he's made some questionable decisions out there so far. Forced some throws into tight coverage. He's already been picked off in this game. 
fourth down now, but he was fortunate on that one not to have another turnover on his ledger. All right, ready? They'll try and throw forward with Burrow. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. A surprising move to go for it predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off. And the Ravens get the football back and in great shape. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Jackson from the shotgun. And this is going to be intercepted. And the Bengals are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Well, the I mean, field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here, maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. Here we go. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. A draw play for Mixon. And this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. Here we go, here we go. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Well, come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. Now it's Burrow. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. Throwing for Chase on the crosser. He's got it. And he is going to have the Bengals first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. So not only do they convert on fourth, but they pick up 22 yards in the process. So after the big play on fourth, here's first and 10. They go back to the ground now with Mixon. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Mix it up the middle. He winds up getting only a couple there. Down to the 29. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. And that nearly the pick that they needed. He couldn't pull it in, though, and it's fourth down. McPherson's kick is good. And they will stretch the lead now to 17-3. to So the turnover leads to points as they add three there. Yeah, what a sequence there and a nice one for them. They force the interception, put together a little drive, and then come away with three points. Nothing to it, partner. Just do it. From the six. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. And with three interceptions thrown already, we'll see. Do they, do they rely more on the ground game here? They may have to change things offensively to try and settle things down, not just for the guy throwing the ball, but for the rest of the offensive unit, because his confidence has to be shaken a little bit. And you just wonder, is the backup going to start to warm up a little bit over on the sideline? Now Dobbins again on second down. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, this is the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Robinson. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. One quarter remains for the right to survive. Round one here in the AFC. Back now in Cincinnati. 
So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 35-yard line. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Sam Hubbard, it'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. To try again after the sack, Jackson. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked up by Eli Apple. And the Bengals are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. If they had designs of kind of wiggling their way back into this one, that hurts their chances right there. They had to put it mildly. We look at the lead, look at the deficit, trying to make a play downfield. Everyone seeking to be somewhat the hero. Didn't turn out that way at all, and you're exactly right. It's going to take a lot for them to have a chance to win this one now. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. And a six-yard gain gets them right around the 43. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. On the delay, it's Mixon. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. The offense on third down tonight. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and four. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Boyd. And down to the 20, he'll go before heading out of bounds. So apparently some grabbing of the jersey there on the O-line. Yeah, just look in the interior, and that's where the penalty occurred. And this third down looking very tough after the holding penalty. Third and long. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. And that nearly the pick that they needed. He couldn't pull it in, though, and it's fourth down. Critical play in this football game, because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them, because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. Burrow going for it on fourth. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. The Bengals try it, but it doesn't work out. And it'll be a turnover on downs. They'll start by running the option to the right. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second at 12. Throwing is Jackson. Over the middle. It's incomplete. We've talked about it, CD, but he bears repeating. They are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that, and it's not a good day when you feel like it. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And the Bengals are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. But a quarterback of his caliber? I can't believe what we've just seen. Absolutely. If you would have told me this coming into the ballgame, I would have said never, not in a million years, but here we go. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Burrow now off the bootleg, steps away, and that is incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and 10. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. On third down, Burrow. And incomplete on the deep ball. Oh, I thought he had that one, and that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. And he's got Hurst, his tight end. And he is going to have the Bengals first down as they manage to convert, and that'll keep the drive alive. Out of the shotgun, they run with Mixon. 
Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Getting in there for the tackle, Marcus Williams. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Back to Mixon on second down. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Again, it's Mixon. Even with that broken tackle, he'll be brought down short of the 15. Here we go. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. On second down, here's Mixon. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. This is caught. Touchdown, Bengals. Jamal Chase saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And the Bengals continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. McPherson now for the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. So that drive consumes nine plays all total. And it was Jamar Chase who finished it off with a touchdown reception. to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and he'll take over at the 25. And now here come the Ravens. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. But it looked like a Raven was able to get in there, and they will indeed keep the possession. Throwing on second and long. Jackson. That one thrown away from the pocket. The officials kind of looking at each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty, just an incomplete pass. And that is incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Taylor now to return it. A solid stiff arm. A pretty good punt there, but also a nice return of 12 yards. And the Bengals will take over in terrific field position. There's a look at receiver Jamar Chase as the Bengals get set to go on offense. Now this defense, they wouldn't mind not seeing him again for a while. Three trips to the end zone. How about that? I think right now they would happily go to their general manager and say, is there any way you could get a trade for him, take him over to our team so we don't have to for him anymore? Because he is really having a heck of a ball game, isn't he? Boy, he is. I don't know that mid-game trade's going to happen, but good thought. On third, Mixon hit, and all oh, the ball is out. And the Ravens have got it. I don't care what the scoreboard says, partner. You know who's winning this game right now? Mother Nature? Yes, <laughs> indeed. Precipitation's winning in a big way. Sloppy, sloppy. All these turnovers right now. Yeah, well, this was the forecast. We got what was forecasted, and we've gotten a lot of turnovers. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Getting into the playoffs is one thing. Now they get to move on just eight teams left. The dream stays alive. Everyone's gunning for the Super Bowl. That's the ultimate. But you have to get there in incremental steps. One win today gets them one step closer.